Hello everyone and welcome to this short snack size video in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode I'm going to go through and show you how you can make an input be a held button input and base that input based on a time as well. So let's get started on how you accomplish this. You need to set up your inputs first of all. So I'm going to go into my edit project settings window and go to input and I need to add an action mapping and an axis mapping. So in action mappings, I'm going to add a new one here. And imagine you're doing this for like a, a prone a, a prone position. So you get, go into prone. If I hold down the left shift key, I want it to go into prone. So I'm going to change the key here to left shift. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on axis mapping as well. And do prone uh, and do left shift again here. And close that. So now we've got an action mapping and an axis mapping. An action mapping only triggers when you hit the key. An axis mapping is always triggered, but it changes the value based on the key's value. So we can use both of them. So let's get both out. We go prone and you'll see action and axis come up. So that's the action. And then there's the axis. So I'm going to feed the uh, axis input into a gate. And the gate is going to basically control the flow of the data going through it based on whether or not it is open or closed. Now a gate by default starts closed. So what's going to be opening it? Well, that's our input action event. So when we push the press key, we're going to open the gate. And when we release the key, we're going to close the gate. Meaning that whilst we're holding down the key, this gate is open. Which means we can do some calculations to work out how long for. So to do that calculation, let's right click an empty space and get player controller. From get player controller, if you just type in time and scroll up, you'll see get input key time down. And this basically returns how long a key has been held for. And the key you can choose from a drop down, but if you just drag that over to your input action, it will connect to that. So now whatever key is being pushed to open the gate will be one that's being checked for how long it takes. So we got that done. Next, we need to compare this return value to another value to determine whether or not you've held it down long enough. So let's say we bring this out here and check whether or not it is greater than or equal to. And let's put in a value of in seconds how long you want to be so let's say it takes two seconds to be held down before we go into prone so we put that into a branch and then hook that up to your exit now as i said this is like a tick so it's going to enter the gate and exit the gate all the time whilst the key is being held down but typically you're only going to resolve this once so on the true here we're going to do a do once and the reset for that is going to come from the released key of the prone here. So on released here, I'm going to do a sequence. So on then zero, it's going to go to close. And on then one, it's going to go to this reset over here. And I'm just going to add some reroute nodes in here so it doesn't look too ugly. Just drag that down. Like so. And we have to use a sequence because you can't connect uh, these white lines to multiple outputs. They can only go into one. So a sequence handles that for you. It will basically just do the first one and then it will do the second one. And the second one is going to reset the do once. So it will go through here and do something once. So let's say uh, print string, for example. And it's going to print string gone into prone. And hit compile. And so now it'll only trigger that when our input key down has reached a value of two seconds or longer. And this will reset every time you release the key. Uh, and therefore, we'll also reset this do once alongside it. So I hit compile and go and test this out. And if I were to push the left shift, you'll see it goes into prone. There you go. And when I let go of it, it'll reset. 
and to show you the reset happening let's just put a print string on here too and we'll have to type in reset push play left shift got into prone reset and there you go that's how you get a key to test whether or not it's been held down uh, it may look a bit convoluted but it's relatively quite simple if you do have any questions about how this works and need further explanation just leave a comment below and i'll try and answer it as best i can big thank you to all my patrons for their continued support and if you become a patron and support me you get access to all my videos before everyone else sometimes months in advance Thank you again for your watching this and thank you again for everyone supporting me and subscribing if you have watched if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button thanks again and i'll see you all next time bye